What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sasa Core, the one who never knows best. Oh, they're not about to like me very much. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sasa Core, the one who never knows best. Bring you some more Eddie ranked gameplay, okay? As you can see, we're currently on a four game win streak, but that ain't nothing compared to the win streak that I had on my way here. Because what you'll notice is that we are officially Fujin rank with Eddie. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, easiest Fujin rank of my life. Now, granted, this is the only other Fujin I have. Well, it's the only other blue rank I have other than my main, which is uh, fought on. But uh, yeah, people are just not. People are not uh, adept in this matchup yet. They're just not equipped for what this character brings to the table. This, watch your ankles, ankles, there we go. Uh, yeah, but I'm live right now on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Lotus Link is always in the description down below. And uh, give me that. And uh, I went on like a 30 plus game win streak from Mighty Ruler up, up until we got here to Fujin. I ended up losing it to like a Raijin Kazuya player, I think. I, I think that's who it was. And, um, I thought for sure that was about to the block. Just go ahead and spin this. There we go. Uh, I went on like a 30 plus game win streak and we got to battle ruler before we before we finally lost and then ended up winning, you know, the rest of my sets. And uh, here we are now at Fujin. And I figured now that I'm at blue rank and I'm, you know, dropping games here and there because I also lost like a game to a law player. I mean, I won the set, but. Mash boy. That. Hey, hey, hey. Hold this as well. Bam. Okay, it's still it's still kind of a beat down, but I don't know how much further I can push it because I understand like a part of it like I, I'm I'm I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I'm gonna keep it all the way funky with you. I'm keeping it a, a, a thou while. Okay, keep it being a stat. Whatever the kids are saying these days, this character is pretty easy. I think it's pretty solid. They got demoted. I figured they wouldn't run it back, and people don't know the matchup. And it's just like low key feel like I'm just getting a lot of free wins right now. I could probably push this character to the same rank as my whoa right now just because. And, and the, the thing I don't have an answer to, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, like, is Eddie that strong? Is he overpowered? Is he broken? Does he need to be nerfed? I think it's still way too early to say. What I can comfortably say is that he's very easy to pick up and use. Like, even just aside from like just mashing three, I mean, like you see, like I have a very simple game plan that has been very effective and has worked for me to get up to this point, you know, the blue ranks or whatever. Um, he's, he's, he's very easy to pick up and play. Is he broken? Is he overpowered? I don't know. I don't really think so. Only time will really tell. Uh, I, I I think it's way too soon to talk about like nerfs or like adjusting the character because he just came out and there's nothing that he has. I'm just like, obviously like, okay, this is just way, way, way too strong. I mean, I do think it's a little bit silly that they gave him the just mash three auto combo stuff. Cause I mean, like you dead can do that and probably get the purple ranks. I'm not gonna lie, but. Oh, why didn't I punch that with? Oh, that. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, big whiff. And that move has the scepter range. Oh, and that whiff. Okay, hold on. We, we might have to lock it. We might have to lock it. Like that. I should have just launched him. I could have killed him. That was a really bad punish. It's all right though, because we still get the round. We still get the round. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm having fun playing the character. I've actually fought him a decent amount as well, both as Eddie and as my Huarong. And the thing is that like. My plan of like playing the characters that I knew kind of what to expect and like how to deal with them has basically been working because the Eddie players I have fought so far have not been as adept with the character as I am. And I don't, I don't know if I've actually lost a single set to an Eddie player yet. Now, inevitably that will happen at some point. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very far from the best Eddie player and I never will be the best Eddie player, right? But it's the game plan that I'm using. It's really easy and effective right now. Oh, we're a lot further from one. But... Run up hop kick. I respect it. I mean, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of the character. I don't know if, if like a lot of the wins I'm getting is because of just like he's so new and people just don't know the matchup or if it's because he's very strong. It could be it could be both. It could be one or the other. I don't have the answer to that yet. What I will say, though, is that this was definitely the easiest path I had to this rank for sure. You sold! Wait, he... That went really, really, really far. Hold that for me if you don't mind. Good block. That's not a punish for me. Plus range. Good block. Okay, he's respecting the handstand stance. Let me go ahead and spend this before I lose it. Watch the ankles. He tried to mash a power crush. 
and we take that as well six game win streak something light something slight you know what i'm saying um you can see oh I, my camera kind of blocking it right now can i have the camera talking can i have the camera talking see my boy afro right there you know what i'm saying blue or egg with it you know what i mean i see you my boy he admitted the food unit nobody wants to run the set against eddie and like i feel you but that's the thing too that's I'd probably already be like Bushing rank with Eddie if it wasn't for so many players wanting and dunning. And like, I, I, I can't even blame him. Like, I, the character can be definitely really annoying. Um, like I said, I have fought my fair share of him because a lot of people are obviously playing him. So as I've been climbing through the ranks, I've fought the mirror match a lot, and I've, I think I've won it almost every time. Um, and then I actually uh, have a decent amount of experience playing him like casually uh, as well. And um, like I said, I just. I haven't like studied the character in depth. I haven't gone like super far in like labbing or anything like labbing him or anything like that. But I've just kind of figured out like the general things a lot of the players want to do and like seeing the habits. So at my level, I'm equipped, I think, to deal with the character. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, there are going to be players who are as this continues to develop, they're going to use more tools and just like the basic stuff like I've been using that the players I've been fighting have been using. But uh, we'll get there when we get there. Also, Kishin, the word player, huh? See how this goes. Okay, so we can parry that. Now, Leroy is one of them characters that I don't really know the matchup well at all because you never see him. There we go. Nah, you're dead, buddy. <gasps> he lived! Oh my god. Okay, I didn't think he would. Also, I just realized this is a guy with like 260k plus Tekken prowess. So this is actually somebody who's like a Tekken god, maybe even a Tekken god supreme, and is on their alternate character, which is Leroy. Good block. No punish, though. Yeah, see, I don't really have Leroy experience. I don't know Leroy's strings. I don't know... I know next to nothing about Leroy. Like I've seen this character like three times ever. Yeah, I, I don't know. This the same thing I've been doing to everybody else is what he's doing to me. I don't know the matchup at all. I'm getting knowledge checked like crazy. Uh, it, it just says what it is. This is part of the course. Hold that side step though. The block. The punish. Damn, that move has such little range. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I really like, I, 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 I'm not kidding you when I say this is one of the characters I've seen the absolute least. He might be the character I've seen the actual least. I, I'm so lacking in information on this character. But I deserve this after what I've been doing to everybody with Eddie, so. I'm a mash rage art and it won't come out because he's that plus. Okay, okay, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, we lost a lot of points for that. Actually, Wait, what? I feel like we lost way more than we're supposed to there. Anyway, I have to go back and review what you guys may or may not have seen is Feedy X actually dropped a video that finally breaks down and explains in detail how the rank system works in this game. And it's kind of convoluted. I'm still not a fan of it. Like it is what it is. I don't I don't really care that much. I do think it's a little dumb though. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're ever confused at all about how the point system works and everything like that, he made a video that breaks it down and I'll try to remember to leave that as a as a pinned comment or somewhere in the description or something like that. Um, also, yeah, I am just getting completely outclassed by a character that I just know nothing about. <laughs> I have zero clue what any of his strings do. We got to go hit the replays after this because. Hey, hey, I just have no clue what's happening. Likewise, similar thing is happening to him once I'm getting started. Like, he can parry my running three? That's kind of odd. Nice duck. That was supposed to be down forward one. No shot. Also, I keep trying to do down forward one and getting down one. I don't know why I'm like fucking up such an easy ass input so much. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, this we, we definitely have a work cut out for us. The only way I would potentially win this is just by overwhelming him with my offense instead of letting him get started. But the thing that's hard about doing that is that he has all those parries and stuff. And he's a very defensive character that can make you second guess all of your offense because um, I say as I perfect him, <laughs> but yeah, obviously it's like, you can't just like autopilot cause you can just get parried and like die for certain things.
See, like, is that that's all guaranteed? Oh my god. Okay, that's got a lot of range to it. See, I was doing good. The instant I let him get started, I just, I just don't know. Okay, you've done this enough to me to where you deserve this. Not gonna lie, an eye for an eye turn the whole world blind, and I can't see nothing. Where the Stevie Wonder with it? Ray Charles out here. You see the shades? Ugh. Anyway, tied things up two rounds apiece. We low key might be able to win this game. Like I said, I just got to be more aggressive. Hold that for me if you don't mind. Hey, there we go. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> so we actually do go ahead and close out the game. Hood perfect, by the way. Sorry, my nose is feeling like mad tingly right now. I think uh, like my hair or something is like tickling my nose. But um, okay, we, we, we tie things up one game apiece. We could do this. We could do this. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I'm a believer. My fault, I didn't skip my intro, I'm a scrub. Power crush, my power crush, that's fine. That feels like it was plus. That's fine. That's an orbital, okay. Am I dead here? It's gonna go into rage right. I think it's gonna scale really hard though. I mean, it's, it's, I, I don't think, I know it's gonna scale really hard. I just don't know if it's gonna scale hard enough to where I live. The thing is though, is that like any singular poke will kill me at the, with the health I'm gonna have left. So I can't even like try to do a defensive rage art myself. I gotta guess. Yeah. This is what it is. What if I. Okay, that's fine. He gets full launch for that? Wait, how minus is my down forward three? A lot more punishable than I would have expected. That's not a low? Wait, what? I'm confused now. It, are you dead ass? Good block, no punish though. I'm gonna rage art here. You deserve this. You, you did hit me with like three different reversal rage arts. So you gonna hold this? But now I have no heat. I have no rage, and he has both. So it's like I won the battle, but he probably about to win the war. You feel me? Unless I just. That was just a dumb thing for me to do in general, but I, I was, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, no, okay, I have to go back and check the frame data. Does Leroy just have a really fast launcher or is that shit just way more negative on block than I knew? Okay, so when you block that low, you still don't get to take your turn back. Might have to get, might have to get a little scrubby in here real quick. Might have to get a little scrubby in here real quick. You're the scrub, it's, no, it's him, he's the scrub. <laughs> He's the scrub. <laughs> oh my god, four fucking rage arts, bro, on on block, bro. That's 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 my fault. I was getting a little too aggressive. That's what I did. Hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. How'd that rage art work out for you, boy? Wait, is that is that guaranteed? Is that true combo? Surely not. Can I get up? Can I get up? Oh my fucking god. GG. G fucking G, I guess. Are you fucking serious? I love when something whiffs and my player just moves into it for the fun of it because he just figures it would be a lot funnier if we got hit as opposed to missing and punishing him for whiffing. You know, that, that you know, it's 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 cool. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, we have to go into training mode now because get ready for the next I thought that that down forward three was only like minus 13 or something like that. But clearly I'm wrong because he was launch punishing me for that. We have to go see this real quick. Oh, that shit is minus 18. Oh, that is way worse than I thought. This is what I was thinking of. This is the one it's it's minus 14. But this one is only an actual combo uh, on counter hit because it doesn't normally natural combo. Uh, but on counter hit, it is. Uh, that's that's why I was so taken aback. I don't actually use this one because it's only counter combo. You normally only see me do this uh, like in combos as you know combo filler or whatever, or not as combo filler, but 
Well, I mean, I, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, that's you know, that, that, that's fine. That ain't no problem. That ain't, that ain't no problem. GG's to the Leroy. Uh, after this video, I will absolutely be watching those replays because, um, and again, like I've been getting a lot of my wins just off people not knowing the Eddie matchup. That nigga definitely won because I just don't know the Leroy matchup. <laughs> like I just had zero clue what any of his strings do. I don't know like where the highs or the lows are. I don't know what's duckable. I don't know basically anything at all about him because he's super, super rare and uncommon. Uh, which is how a lot of players who play characters like those are getting the wins. We we actually did some um you know some like analysis of some uh, some charts a while back, and what we saw very commonly is that a lot of the characters that have really low usage rates have really high win rates because they're so uncommonly seen that uh, people just aren't familiar with those matchups. Okay. Watch your ankles for me. That wasn't a clean hit. That's unfortunate. If I power crush through that shit though. Um, but yeah, characters like the Bears, Zafina, uh, I think Claudia was even in there. They have some of the highest, hey, highest win rates in the game. Uh, and I, I believe that's largely because since you see them so very rarely, when you do see them, you're just not prepared for them. And like I said before, that's part of the reason why like I'm playing Eddie, because I didn't want that to be the case. Although Eddie being as stylish as he, uh, okay, as stylish as he is, um, and as easy as he is, he's probably going to be more popular in this game than he probably has been in any game other than like Tekken 3. I stepped the wrong way, I guess. Hold that for me if you don't mind. Pop that boy, Nashin. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yo, what is the range on that shit? Holy. Those frames. I didn't punish that hop kick. That's fair. No, sir. Hold this rage. I just fought a Leroy player who hit me with a rage at the end of almost every single round. So I'm sorry, Fang player. You gonna have to hold this. It's not. It's not you. It's me. Okay. It, I didn't want to have to be this way. But the thing is, like, you know, hurt people hurt people. So you gotta get hurt for the one time. Okay. My fault, gang. <laughs> that was too slow. I just for the one time. Does he know? Not really. But he did. He did an option that worked. I do it again. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. The range of that shit is always crazy to me. Oh my god, I'm so slow with my whiff punishes. Plus range. Damn. The nigga whipped out the 10 string. I was not prepared for him to do a fucking 10 string. It caught me off guard. It was it was good in that situation just because it was so unexpected. I just wasn't prepared to see it. Hold that form if you don't mind. Watch some ankles. That's fine. Ankles again. Don't think I won't do it again, because I will. Don't think I won't do it again, because I will. That's going to be us taking out of the Fang player. But uh, yeah, this may or may not be the last ranked video I do with Eddie, unless you guys just really want to see me play more Eddie, because like I'm, I'm having a decent amount of time, I'm a decent amount of fun uh, playing the character for now. So uh, I'm probably going to keep playing him on stream for the moment. I don't know. Like, I didn't. Uh, he's not going to be like a, a main character for me or anything like that. He's just another pocket character that I'm just learning. Um, but uh, if y'all want to see it, I wouldn't mind making more videos. I just don't know if the demand for it is really there. Hold that for me. Whoops. I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Should have done a down for one. Okay. Oh my God, Lotus, do you want to whiff punish this nigga once? That'd be nice. Why do I keep crouching there? He's only doing that, that same move. God, this character's corny. Good block, not a good punish though. Is he gonna be considered airborne here though? He, his feet definitely touched the ground. This should kill, unless he was still considered airborne. I could have like, the thing is like, 
I could have just blocked and launched. Okay, we got the kill. I could have just blonked. Blonked. I could have just blocked and launch punished them. But like when I have rage or a heat smash in situations like that, my first instinct is always just, oh, it's one button. I'll just, you know what I'm saying? That's fair. What the fuck? Did he just parry? That's launch punishable Lotus and you know better. All right, nigga. This, this fang is wilding out. Did a down for when I got be I blocked that. Okay, I didn't block that though. I'm gonna need you to sit your happy ass down somewhere because you're doing a whole lot of whole lot of right now. I did that with. Oh my goodness. My heat burst! My heat burst! Oh my god, that does a shit ton of damage. Also, Fang is not only top five characters in this game, in my opinion. I also think Fang is like top five most hated characters for me. I just think that he's one. Let's just keep it a stack. He's got a face only a mother could love. Okay, the nigga's ugly as shit. He's like 27. He looks 72. All right. Second of all, I think his fighting style is kind of lame. Um, but that's just me. I think he's like like a really boring character to watch and to play. He's really strong. And like, depending on like your play style, like in fighting games, I could see the appeal to playing him. In terms of like characters that look cool, I think he's very, very low on that list. Well played though by this guy in that last game. That was a really good tempo. Why did that beat my hop? I mean, uh, why did that hop kick beat my jab? I just did round start one, two, and I got beat by hop kick. He definitely should have gotten blown up. Okay, he is, he is mashing. No, the range on that shit is ridiculous. Hey. On the bright side, though, oh, come on. All of our matches are not free anymore. Um, we are actually having to work for some of these. What? What the f Oh my god, the range on that move is so. I cannot believe people on Twitter were crying about like that move being broken. That move is. It's not ass, but the range is unbelievably, unbelievably bad. I did that because I wanted to heat dash. And I don't really know like what my other options are to heat dash off of, if I'm honest. That shit is terrible. I'll take the trade there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I saw some people com complaining about that move. I'm like, nigga, that move is not all that. Ah, I didn't react in time. Good shit. Yeah, I think the because uh, I'm I I I'm, I'm, I don't remember if I mentioned. It. I think I did start this video, but I'm actually recording this live while I'm streaming right now. I see some people talking about. It. I think like the characters I hate the most in this game. Number one is Lars, easily. Then it's Nina and Alyssa. I cannot stand either of those characters. Um, and then after that, is it Fang? It might be Fang after that. I have to think about it. I had to cheese. Wait, Ooh, I had to cheese him out real quick. Final round. Fight. Word. I have not whiff punished anything this thing has done. Okay, okay. Plus frames in the low. The thing special. Oh. What is this lag? Oh, come on. What is the lag right now, man? That's really unfortunate. This isn't the end of the world. I didn't clean hit. Nope. GG. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, yeah, as, as you can see, like we're still winning most of our games, but we definitely are losing some games now. So now that we made it to the blue ranks, things are looking a little bit more competitive for sure. I think um, I think I could definitely still make the Raijin, Kishin maybe, Bushin maybe. It, it depends on how much I keep grinding and playing the character. Like I said, if y'all want to see me play more Eddie, then I will. But if there's not really a lot of interest or demand for it, I'm gonna just go back to playing my other stuff and continue trying to make the other types of uh, you know, content that happen. Also quickly, before we do wrap up this video, 
I had two videos recorded that are basically lost to the ether now because I'm an idiot who accidentally deleted both the files. I had a video with Kwis, who I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with, world-class player, one of the best Wadong players in the world, uh, you know, high-level European player, uh, where we were talking about, you know, the battle pass and the current patch and all the bugs and glitches and things like that. And just had a, a conversation about the game and everything like that. And I accidentally deleted that file as well as a video I had with Majin Obama, who you guys may or may not be familiar with, who is a player, commentator, tournament organizer in Japan um, uh, that, uh, you know, has been around the scene for a while and obviously has put a lot of work in the field when it comes to organizing events and, you know, being there for the history of the game and, uh, you know, talk, communicating and talking with players. And like, like I said, he, he's been around the block a few times, you know what I'm saying? He's a, a bit of an older cat, you know, uh, compared to, you know, some, some of us who might be, you know, a bit younger, like in that college age range or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He grew up in Marques and basically we were talking about like the history of like Tekken 7 and like when it started and the current state of Tekken 8 and how they compare and contrast and, you know, what the climate was like when Tekken 7 dropped and how it wasn't perfect either and so on and so forth. And it, it was a really cool conversation. Obviously there was like, you know, we was just vibing and shit. It was like an hour long. We started talking about other things as well and other games and it, it was, it was great. It was cool. And uh, I was really looking forward to y'all seeing it and listening to it and uploading it to the channel, but I'm a fucking moron who was trying to clear space on my hard drive and my hard drive and accidentally deleted the Kwis video and the Majin Obama video. And yeah, so those are just gone now. I might re-record something like that with both of them individually. If you guys want to see that still, I don't know. Recapturing the magic of the original take is impossible. So it's just like, I don't even know if I still have the motivation to, to do it now. Cause like you can't recreate something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you could talk about the same stuff, but it ain't going to hit the same. Um, but I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all the awesome content I'll put on bring you. With all of being said, this is pretty much off today. And remember, nothing could happen to you from the bad. Later.